Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. Explore new skills, develop existing interests, and get lost in creativity. You guys know I shared Skillshare a few months ago. I'm loving it and my girls are loving it. They are at that age where they want to learn and they want to dive deeper into things. So I know that Brooklyn has been looking at more painting tutorials. Jaden has been doing a lot of lighting materials for video and photography, things like that. And then Autumn has been doing Korean classes. She's like, I'm going to learn to speak Korean. I'm like, you go girl. <laughs> So myself, I started looking on there some more and there's a lot of cooking classes. So I took this class. I just went out and did it because I'm like, someone has watched my videos and said that my there's a better way to chop things. So I thought, I've only chopped what I know and what I've done and what I've been taught growing up. So I was like, am I way off or not? So I took Knife Skills, a mini class to chop like a chef from Elena Carp. And it just went through. It was like 12 minutes long, a real simple thing. And it was just showing how to slice and julienne, dice and mitts, how to take care of your knife in closing, which was pretty, pretty neat. Hey, we can always learn new things, right? Me included. This is Skillshare is great because if you're uncertain about your like future and things to learn, creative challenges and productivity classes can be a great way to help you structure your time and set up achievable goals. At a time when so many important conversations are happening in our world, your voice is more essential than ever. Explore classes to unlock your creativity for social good. Skillshare offers membership with meaning. Connect with support of fellow creatives and enter a community of encouragement, communication, and inspiration. Whether you're looking to fend off some boredom, focus on some self-care through creativity, or join a similar creative community, Skillshare is a place to keep you learning. The first thousand people to click my link in the description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. And after that, it's about only $10 a month. Very affordable for learning. All right, let's go inside and start our day. Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. Today is Monday. Happy Monday morning to you. I hope that your morning is going well. I got up, I'm still on my first cup of coffee, about a half a cup in, I'm a little tired. We had a busy weekend this weekend working on that deck back there. I'll take you back there today and show you. We are on to painting. So we're finally at the end of painting, which is good, but it's just, you know, it takes time. So we've been busy. It was a busy, busy weekend, but a good weekend. Very thankful for it. So today I'm like, I need to get up and I need to do some cleaning and some picking up of the house. So that's what this is gonna be. Motivation Monday, getting all the things done. So I don't have a list because I know in my head what I gotta do. Same old stuff, but just have to get it done. So it's gonna be a great day. Don't mind my puffy eyes. If they look puffy and watery, maybe not. Someone will point it out. I had the, you know, a few months ago, I had the bulging eyeball from some allergy thing. Well, last night I was sitting on the couch talking to my mom, which by the way, she gave me the right hair color to get for my hair. She's like, get this one. So next next month when I have to do it. But anyway, side note, and I started rubbing my eyes. And you know when you start rubbing your eyes and you can't stop and it gets so bad and you're like, oh my goodness, that was that me yesterday. So I did that and I don't, I can't say I've ever used eye drops. I'm sure I have. I just don't really remember. So Greg had some Visine because they were so itchy, so bad. So I put some in and before I went to bed and then I woke up, my eye was like all crusted. That's disgusting, I know. But I'm like, oh my goodness, my eyeballs. So I'm like, they just feel swollen today. So yeah, don't mind that. I'm sure it'll go away. I'll keep wiping them, you know, tea bags, all that good stuff works. I just have to uh, get over this. So just, that's the only, you know, positive note of filming every, choosing to film every single day. Everybody sees everything if you don't hide it, cover it up with makeup, because I don't wear makeup. <laughs> so don't mind the bulginess. So it's gonna be a good day. We're gonna put an earbud in. We're gonna get going with our day. I don't, we um, stayed, the house is pretty picked up. It just needs to be wiped and cleaned and the floor done, all that kind of stuff and laundry done. You know, all the good things you gotta get done. I got a whole pile of bananas sitting on my table over here. I left everything wide open in the mess because you know, that was what we did. We ate all of, not all of our food from the weekend. So we still have food. It was so good. It was a, I'm so glad I made what I made last on Gather Your Fragment Friday because it lasted all weekend and there's still plenty there today. So. Not even to worry, we're gonna gather up fragments for leftovers, get school out for the week. I'm hoping I didn't do much last week, so hopefully this week will be our last week of school, which will be awesome. What else is on it? And then we'll go paint some pool deck today. Sound good? All right, let's get going with our deck. Let's get an earbud, some, maybe some music on. Let's get some music on. Motivational music, yes, feeling motivational music, and then we're gonna have a great day. All right, let's go. I love when the dishwasher does not get turned on. I think I turned it on last night and somebody was in the shower, so I shut it off and I set a timer, but obviously it did not come back on, so I just have a few to wash in the sink.
All right, so got the kitchen clean, moving on to the dining room. Not much here to pick up. Most of the stuff is stuff I have to do, like the bananas. I'm gonna do those in a little bit, the lights. I'm gonna hang those outside with the zip ties. This stuff is for projects we have to do. That's a scooper for dog and cat food. My water, what else? And then, I don't know why those little, those rubberized like hot pad things. I don't know why that's there, but the floor, let me, let me show you the floor situation. Usually by now, all these shoes would be everywhere. So the only person, well, there's a pair of Jensen shoes, but Greg's shoes are on the floor. It's the only person. <laughs> so everybody else are in the basket, which is good. But for the record, he was outside working late on the deck. So I don't really want his shoes in there because they have paint on them. And he's just going to his bedroom. Jensen ran outside too. So not bad for shoes on the floor. So I'm just going to pick this up real quick so I can get the vacuum rolling. It's gonna be a beautiful day today. Like, you hear that? Minus the cars. It's cold, it's probably 50, maybe 55, I don't know. No, it's not that cold, is it 60? I don't know, anyways, it's chilled. But it feels good enough that I didn't have to have my air conditioner on, just had the windows open last night. So it's gonna be a good day, a good day for swimming, getting outside, all those good things. So let me go, and I just shook this because we're gonna be in and out today. Since we're working, there's no point in washing this. It's got dirt, it's like stained, you know, dirt. I should wash it, but it's just gonna get stepped on today. A bunch of times, everybody's stepping in and out of the house. So I'm gonna get back in for upstairs here, like spun a bearing last week. Like when you, you can put it on it and it goes It's really loud, it works, but something wrong with the bearing and the mechanism, so. So we'll see, I'll let you know how they work. I'll do a video on floors, cause you guys always ask me like what I think of the vacuums, if they're worth it. Yeah, so I'm gonna try out this one, see how it works, and then uh, go from there. It's a little bit different than my other ones. We'll see how it works and how it cleans the floor in the Marianne household. All right, the other rooms are done, the vacuums are going. Let's start cleaning the bathrooms. Not a favorite job, but it has to be done. this room so I don't I left the mouthwash out because I have a little one that doesn't always remember to do that and if he has it sit on the counter he sees it and knows to do it so don't worry about mama's if your bathroom doesn't look Pinterest worthy and you got toothbrushes and everything set out sometimes you need to do that for reminders for your kids so mine are getting older where they kind of do it but the mouthwash thing gets pushed aside so I got to sit now so they do it probably could put it in a nice container but I don't know boys bathroom just does not stay very clean sometimes so this room is done I'm gonna go out and probably do the other one All right, moving along, it's almost eight. Got my list done for the kids to do. Um, I'm gonna go do my bathroom, I think, next. I still have to wait, the robots still do the floor so I can wash them, but let me go clean my bathroom.
All right, today is like an easy day, I feel like. Like it's not even time for me to wake everybody out of the household. So that's a good thing. All I have to do is my bedroom, but Greg's in there getting ready. So I'm just gonna make the bed in there and vacuum in there and then we'll mop the floor. But I'm gonna mop the floor right here because the vacuums are done. That one did a way more efficient job. So we're just gonna get our mop and our, put some water in here with vinegar and just do the floors. We need to take a little break. Patches just saw me in the window and he's like, meow, meow, he's hungry. So let me feed the kitties. Well, look at this, it's just Patches. Are you in some kitty food? Let's see if they all come running. Here's his Patches. There you go, kitty. All right, I need to get their water. It's looking pretty dirty like raccoons got in there. When it's dirty like that, usually the raccoons come up here and put their paws in it and get a drink. So much fun. All right, it's beautiful. I can't believe I'm almost done. Let me go mop the floor in there, get some water for the kitties, mop the floor, and then I'm gonna be done. All right, so I like to have my, I got my calendar all done. There's not a whole lot in here for June. We usually do like a movie night and we were doing game night, things like that. But now that it's summertime, we're just pretty much gonna be outside enjoying the pool. So I'm not putting in the other, so there's nothing on the calendar for June. And that's a good thing. So I usually like to put some kind of scripture. So for May, I put on there to um, wait patiently for the Lord. And it was just a good reminder, you know, even for myself of just to wait patiently for God and not do on my own or say what I think I should say or, you know, what I think is right to do and just pay, wait and give my worries and my cares to God and let Him do the miracles in my life. And I've heard so many stories this last month of, you know, couples that we know that you know, are separating, divorcing, and I just thought, you know, I don't know, I'm not here to judge or condemn or say anything, but I just, it just, it breaks me because it's like life is work. It's a work, work in progress, right? No one's, I, we don't feel like we ever have enough. Like it's always us, 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 and never like God, God, God. And so to humble yourself and to say, all right, God, what can I do to help this situation? It takes humbling and humbling is hard because we've got some prideful stuff going on inside and it's hard to say, you know what? I'm just gonna give it up and give it to God and not gonna worry about it. Not worry about getting my feelings hurt. Not worry about getting my way and not giving me, me, me and just trusting God with it. It's like, that's when you're gonna see miracles happening in your home. That's when you're gonna see miracles happening in your spouse, in your children and all of life. Yeah, is life perfect? No, it's not. Is my life perfect? No, it's not but it's perfect because I trust God with all of it, all of it. And I don't doubt it, I don't doubt it. I know what he's gonna do. I know what he's gonna do in my family. I know what he's gonna do with me and just waiting patiently for that is a good thing. So this month I put truly God is good because truly he is good. He is good always. It's just us humans that mess everything up, right? <laughs> so, all good. 
good. All right, I'm excited. I've got like, my stuff is all done. It's just time to get the kids up, have breakfast, and like done with our chores, which is great. Like, that's a good thing. Not ever on a Monday am I done early. No, not at all. I've got laundry going, but I did do some laundry this weekend because my dryer was kind of acting weird. It's on the fritz. I know it's going to be done. Um, it's old. It was it was old when I moved in here, but she's like, this thing is a tank. It works. And so I traded out the washer because I needed a high efficiency one for water consumption here or less water consumption. And so... Um, the dryer I kept and it is going. I'm just like recently, I was like, it's gonna be time for a new dryer. I didn't even tell Greg, I'm like, we're gonna need a new dryer soon. And so my high heat setting, when I usually put on the high heat, is does not work, but the other one does. It's just, so I'm just kind of going through. I just have to put it on twice, but it's gonna be ready for a new one. So we're gonna have to get one of those soon. But I'm like, do I go with the fancier, nicer one? But I'm like, I feel like I should get that exact same one because it was awesome. It's just a very basic dryer. You don't need much for a dryer. Washer, you can do different settings because you wash things, but dryer, you just need a high and a medium setting. That's it to dry your clothes. That's all I need. So we'll have to do Lowe's uh, trip here soon and see if we can find a washer and dryer. So let me go hang this up. I'm going to switch out my laundry, pick up my mess and wow, we're doing good. We're doing great for a Monday. All right, Maxine, this is the chore for you. I'm so sorry. She's like, I do not like my back at all. And I'm so sorry, but you need to get clean. She's like, I don't like it. Oh, I'm so good and gentle with her. She's doing great. She's like, oh, not the washcloth. Not the washcloth on him. <laughs> Washing the face. Oh, there's Maxine. She's all clean. She don't like it. She's like, get me out of here. Autumn does quick baths because she knows she does not like them, so she's a scrubber good. And then we'll clean everything down real good. All right, so all of my work is done. Got everything I need to get done. The bananas were the last thing. The kids are off doing their stuff, getting it done right now, so I'm gonna stop right now because all of the things I gotta do is finished, and I'm gonna run with Greg. We're gonna go pick up some paint for our deck. So we're having a hard time finding the right one. We've been at Lowe's a bunch of times and they've been out of it. So we're gonna go hit our local Ace and pick up a different brand, but same as close as we can get to it. So we're gonna go do that right now, then we'll come back and finish our day. Okay, here we are. Here we are. Date in the car, once a day. Oh, a date? <laughs> not wow, really a date. No, this it's a, not a date. This would be a working it's day. It's not a, wor yeah, it's a working day. Yeah. We are just right. He's like, honey, did you bring your shoes? Let's go to the park. I'm like, no, uh, I didn't. I and I looked down and realized, I realized my shoes are on the floor, but we're not walking. As if so. I really want to walk. I don't want to walk, so it doesn't look great with clothes. New shades. Oh. He got prescription sunglasses. Game changer. Game changer. Game yeah. changer for oh, you. So we ordered them online. I'll share Yeah, with you. I had some and I would only wear them every once in a while. You know, like if the sun was super bright. My eyes are really dry all the time. Yeah. Like I use the Visine drops and stuff. So when it's really super sunny out, my eyes hurt. Yeah, so it's no good. So now. Yeah, but I can't see, you know, when I'm wearing them. Because I can't do contacts because my eyes are so dry. Issues, honey. Issues. So we're not going to have issues now. <laughs> yeah, so this this is a game changer. Prescription sunglasses. Very good. It's a good thing. It's a great thing. So we're headed. We're going to go get this. I left the kids at home to 
finish their chores, we're gonna go get some of this paint. We can't find paint. Like our Velspar, we had Velspar porch and patio patio paint. Like yeah. we bought it last year, we did all the patios, and like there's none anywhere. Oh, dude, Every everybody is so at home right now. Doing, doing things, doing so the there's none. Backs. I called, they're like, well, there's one in this town, one in this town. I'm like, what? So we just decided to go with hopefully a different brand, like Bears, I said, B E H R. Yep. Their brand at our ace. We're hopefully they'll do that. Color match it. Looking good, but first, we have to stop and get a coffee. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> having three in the because, morning is not enough. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> if, if you're not going to walk, you have to balance, balance the equation coffee. by no drinking donuts, more honey? coffee. No donuts, honey? Oh, I'm good. Yeah, you want a donut? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, donuts? It's not good. Then we're going to go home and he's going to make a deck and. And yeah, we're going to get a, it's going to be a really good work day. It's great weather. Perfect. We got a little it's cloud like 75. cover. So it's cool. Want, like we yeah. turn the heat on in the car. I was like a little chilly for a little yep. bit, but it's going to be. But by high noon, like be, two o'clock in the afternoon, it'll be so perfect be for perfect. work. be perfect. So okay, let's go get a wonderful coffee, baby. Let's go do it. Oh yeah. Good move. Greg's good move. All right. Can't walk out with the donuts, but we'll be taking some of these home for the kids. These will be good. All right. Hazelnut macchiato and Strawberry funnel cake. Delicious. Here. Look at that. That oh, is a yeah. funnel cake. Get you some of that. Give me some of this right here. All right. So, delicious. Greg said he got himself a car carnival drink. Doesn't it look beautiful? That's right. A carnival tree. Takes me back to when I was a kid. Baby. Oh, there you go. Lumpy donuts. Oh. Cake donuts. So plain, honey. Everybody loves it. Oh, do you want one of those? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have a coffee. No. Oh, honey. Only if they're burnt. I'm going to see if they're burnt. Okay. The burnt apple fritters see, are the best. This is how Amy's got me programmed. <laughs> She beats me down every time we get donuts. <laughs> I'm like, honey, it's like, like oh, the greatest treat ever. Let's have a donut, please, because no. she never, never eats like. I don't usually eat donuts. Sugary kind of. Salty though. Stuff. I'll eat a whole lot of that. Which, which one are you thinking for the? The uh, apple fritter only yeah. if it's crispy. They always are. They're always no, delicious. they like they burn them a little bit. So I don't even ask anymore. You don't even ask, and that's okay. You don't need to. You know, it's like Sorry. a <laughs> cow yeah. down. Crispy. They have like good oh, ones yeah, that are crispy and yummy. So this will be my treat. I like this. Ain't yeah. no shame. Okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna eat all eight of these right now. So. <laughs> well, my one will equal your eight. All right. Well, babe. you gotta eat both of them. Then we're gonna ace. go ahead to Ace. All right, going to our local Ace. Gonna go try to find some of this. <laughs> all right, so we got some paint. Greg needs to get some paint brushes. So these are really good. Yeah, the Ace brand, not bad. Ace brand's not bad. $15 you know, for all those. And the... 15 bucks you get a bunch. And they hold up pretty good. Yeah. I, I, I get a bunch of uses out of them. And then some foam rollers. Yeah, and I, these as well. I rinse these. You know, I, I Who rinse? I, I don't rinse. I just throw them away. Them. Yeah. I do. I put them in a plastic bag in my refrigerator and they last two. So I get a million uses out of these. He's Even good. Even changing colors and stuff. That's a good thing. And then we're going to get some plastic. Yeah. Because oh, yeah. he's going to spray the, the house. Spray. I don't know how that's going to work. I'm a little it's afraid. Work amazing. I'm afraid. <sighs> it's worse it's ever. Worse. So we're going to get some plastic here. We're going to see how that goes. Yeah, a couple drop cloths. There we go. Else? Yeah, we'll see how the painting goes. I don't know about painting. I was like, honey, that's going to blow everywhere on the oh, side of the house. Please. But he believes it's not going to, so I'm going to trust him. <laughs> I'll leave the painting to Greg. Honey, taste and see. Taste and see, we're gonna, okay, let's go find some more stuff. So we're gonna get some hooks here because we're gonna run, we got some of those bug zappers for the wall and our lights we're gonna hang up. So he's gonna kind of use like little sea hooks to hook it to like underneath the trim on the house. So mm -hmm. that's what we're looking for right now. So we'll see. We got all these selections, so much stuff. My kids love this. They're like, let me grab these out of here. Look at these. If they have Cable. a hole for a screw. Oh, which they do. Look at that. Babe. There we go. I gotta close it just to see how it works. It's gonna close? Oh my gosh. Score. Dude. Look at me. Look at me. Look at, oh look, look, look at, look at, look at look, me. Look at Amy I'm the stuff. hardware queen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so mad. I'm like, I don't know. Oh, okay, so it's like a one and done. Once, nice. you, once you close it once, it's forever. Oh, that's great. Eh? Now a person buys that, so I can be able to open it. Well, we're just gonna, which one did I, which one was it? I don't even know. It's so good. No, seriously. They also have a wire is it this one? I don't really know. Don't do it. Don't close it. No, I, I need, You'll never open it this again. is like the exact size I need. I just want to make sure I got the right ones. Let's do it again, okay. I'm gonna clean them out. One, two, three, four. So that's gonna be pretty neat. He's got the bug zapper. Just <gasps> drop the clubs on the ground. Let me get that for you. Oh, look. Somebody closed one already. Oh, I wonder who did that. It wasn't me. Gregory. Wait, you can't open them? Dude. Does it open? I have no idea. Look at, like, there's a bunch of them closed. See, I'm well, the only weirdo. you're going to put the cord through it before you do it, right? We'll just have to hang them on there. Maybe. Uh, I wonder if you can put a screwdriver behind there. What if you break it, though? Out. Let me try one. 
If you ever an ace, there's a plug right below there. Check some. <laughs> Can I get my Porsche? Right. Now get some here. Porsche. All right, remember my grill piece that I like taped down? Well, it is just like falling apart. It's just, it's set outside for two years, so it's just worn. So I'll, you guys recommend just using literally a tarp and duct tape. So I think I'm going to do that. So I just see a tarp right here, and I think I can just get that and just tape it. I just need something to set it on top. I really don't want something to like cover the whole thing because I don't like to cover the whole thing. So let me grab one of these. Then we'll ask Greg. He's in the other aisle. Oh, it's like $45. Uh, he said a canvas would be better. The plastic won't sit, but it's like $45 for that. That's a lot. Let me see. Greg's getting some string so we can, you know, make our walkway straight because Amy's... Because it, it has to be straight. You know, Amy's is not that oh, straight. Oh, look at that. Thing. Look at this. They got paracord, too. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt Here's you right paracord. there. Remember paracord bracelets? We used to make the emergency ones. If you were stuck in the wilderness, you can have your parachute. Oh, that's awesome. Let's do it. Yeah. All right, so it's like our paint's getting mixed. Look at that, isn't that cool? Yeah, a little old fashioned. I love those. I used to have one of those. Inside, we used to watch and read stories by it. I remember. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh. Greg's like, Jeez, stop, honey. Oh. Rub, Rub some, some bird or dead cow. Maybe. Slap some on. Look at all this delicious. Oh, do you want to get one or two? I'm okay, honey. If you want one, get one. No, I just want to make sure. I'll just soak it in stuff. Look at all the plants out here. Let's go see if we can see anything. Greg wants to buy those back there. I think that's part of the light. Or do you think you buy those? Oh, you probably do. You don't want bamboo? <laughs> oh, man. No, I thought bamboo. you'd sit bamboo all down at the bottom. Look, let's get some little plants, too. Oh, you think Norman Honey. You got perennials. They have my palm tree anywhere? Probably. Trees and shrubs right here. Oh, they're pretty. Look at the bamboo. That's kind of fun. All right, let's go through the forest. Can you get back to the... Oh, oh. I said, you can come back this way, can't you? I don't know. If they can come through. Do it, baby. You got it. It's skinny. I got it here, but what about the rest of the way through? I think so. Look at Right there. Let's go. We're going to look for some berries. We're going to do those mulberries out by in front of our deck. It's all sandy. So we're looking. I looked up getting like blackberries and blueberries and stuff. I thought that'd be kind of neat. Oh, what do we sand. got here? Oh, right there. Blueberries. Let's see oh, it. Stop right there. We got it. We got it right here. What are these? Like, what's this thing? I don't know yet. It's like upside down. This is a... Uh, yeah, the blueberry. There they are, baby. Okay, but what kind? Oh, you might have to get a little bit of Google going. <laughs> Look at this one. This vest. All the names. You don't want to buy the kind that you can't eat, right? <laughs> I'm sure you can eat them all. Right? Well, let's go to the southern one. It says southern hybrid. I like it because it says Gardener's Confidence Collection. That's the one I need. Okay. But what is it? Per they're perfect for containers, though. We don't want. No, we don't want containers. Petite dark blueberries. How about like blueberry buckle? What's that? Ooh. Perfect for patio. We don't want patio. I want something to plant in the ground. Well, that, I'm sure you can plant them anywhere. No, I feel like those, like next to it, how about like that? Like that would go on the ground, right? Or no, it's the same thing. I don't even oh, know. Oh, honey, these are raspberries. Oh, there I go. Oh. Grab one out, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. Raspberry shortcake. Danger. So hold on, let's look and see. Perfect for patio. What's, I don't want patio. It doesn't matter. How, look at hold the, on. This, is the, this is the same bush you see out in nature. Are you sure? Yeah, look, it's a raspberry bush. Moderate, full sun, zones four through nine. That's us. Nice. Requires no stalking. In both the patio or in the landscape. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, we're gonna try to not kill those. Like, how much oh my goodness, I will baby these because I love right. Okay, so we need like- Do something to keep the bears off, all right? <laughs> yeah, like Greg's gonna have to put a, sit out there and watch it. We're gonna have some blueberry. Baby, blueberry so buckle. Exciting. We need a bigger cart. Where's the Walmart shopping carts? Come on, Greg. It's like going once a month shopping, try to fit it all in the cart. Mm -hmm. Look at that. I don't know if we can get it though, I don't know. Kill the other thing. Yeah, kill it before we even plant it in the ground. <laughs> and then we'll get this one. So we got two of each. This That's so gonna be so exciting. exciting. I'm excited yeah, I love too. It. <laughs> now we gotta find some strawberries. Oh, yeah, I love fruit. Me too. Oh, my so will all the bears. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, that's what I'm saying. We're gonna have to get some fencing. Really Amy's dream flowers right here. You wanna come No. <laughs> no, because I already have what? One, two, three. We got, the it's the purple. Yeah. I just got one. I just literally planted a purple. Okay. No, these are good. Right? Because they. Greg scared me. Look at. Two. Little dragonfly there. He's like, don't scare the poor dragonfly. He's like, leave me alone. How cool is that? The knockout rose. If you can dig a hole, you can plant a star. 
<laughs> I don't think so. Keeping it alive, that's a whole other that's, story. Yeah, that's the story. Knockout. All right, we're killing time in the store. They're getting our paint mixed up, so we'll grab it and we'll go head home with our fruit plants. No strawberries, they say they're out everywhere. Okay, here's our ruby barrier. Here's our ruby barrier. Right here to keep Ruby away. Multi-purpose snack. We'll see how well it, it works. It literally shows that it keeps a bee away. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna keep an 80 pound dog, dog out there. She's just no. gonna look at this and go, oh look, nice and fluffy, let yeah. me sleep on it. It'll be fine. It'll no, be so these are like investments. Just yeah. keep them out. It'll be good. Just something to keep them out of there. All right, so we got home. I didn't even finish the video. My camera was blinking. I was like, ah, I don't have another battery. So we got all of our stuff at Ace there. Ended up getting those fruit bushes. I'm like, hopefully we'll do good. I'll probably just set them out in the pots and water them for a little bit. Give me some tips and advice on planting those because this is all new to us. So we've got two of each, two blueberry, two blackberry, and two raspberry. So I was going to put it in like a sandy soil area. It's kind of in front of the deck. Bright sun should be good. We will see how it goes. I don't know. I was like, oh, it's such an investment for those. And you're like, please, I hope it does good. And you won't know until next year whether they bear fruit or not. All right. So then, so then I came and I started editing. I came home. The kids were all done with their chores, which is good. We take the day off of school. So we'll do school the rest of the week, which is okay. That's the great thing about homeschooling. So we're going to go outside and work on that deck. So I was going to film that today, but I do have a bunch of other outside stuff. So I think I'm going to save that for another day this week. Don't worry. I'll show you. Just not today. <laughs> because this mom wants to get the, If I take more time filming, then this video editing is not going to get done. And I still got to edit every day. But we got some good videos coming up this week. We're going to make some homemade popsicle treats. So it's going to be, it'll be a good week. So I'm going to just close today's video. I'm going to do that. So I'm going to, dinner is like left, lunch was leftovers. Dinner is leftovers. Can I, I'm going to show you what we have for dinner. I'll insert that clip right here. good it's so good all the food is delicious like the fruit salsa i don't even know that is the best thing in the entire universe and then the pasta like that's my food right there so we just enjoyed all the leftovers we're eating it up i'm like no sense making more food because we still have plenty of food to eat so we're enjoying leftovers today that's a good monday for me so the rest of the day we're gonna be outside we're gonna be outside i'm gonna water my plants for my fruit and veggie ones fruit not veggies fruit ones and then uh, we're gonna start we're gonna work on that deck greg's out there working now I'll go out there and help him paint and that is our evening. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Motivation Monday, hopefully got you motivated to get things done. I know I'm motivated, get things done. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna finish things up here and then I'm gonna go. So, so you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and I'm gonna see you guys again tomorrow with another video. Tomorrow is the popsicle video. Sound good, frozen treats? Oh, you're gonna love those. I love those. <laughs> All right, and here let's go read our Psalm for the day. Psalm 111, the Lord praised for his goodness. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart. In the company of the upright and in the congregation, great are the works of the Lord, studied by all those who delight in them. Splendid and majestic is his work, and his righteousness endures forever. He has made his wonderful acts to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and merciful and full of loving compassion. He has given food to those who fear him with awe-inspired reverence. He will remember his covenant forever. He has declared and made known to his people the power of his works in giving them the heritage of the nations. The works of his hands are truth and absolute justice. All his precepts are sure, established, reliable, and trustworthy. They are upheld forever and ever. They are done in absolute truth and uprightness. He has sent redemption to his people. He has ordained his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name, inspiring reverence and godly fear. The reverent fear of the Lord is the beginning, the prerequisite of the absolute essential, the alphabet of wisdom. A good understanding and a teachable heart are possessed by all those who would do the will of the Lord. His praise endures forever. I love that last line. A good understanding and a teachable heart are possessed by all those who will do the will of the Lord. That's some food for thought right there. Good food to put into action in your life. You want to have a teachable heart. I want a teachable heart. Sometimes that's not fun. Sometimes that hurts. That's what I want, though. Teachable. Yes. Have a blessed day.